with everyday gadgets like this cell phone with the cameras in them. And I've seen so many people out at nice restaurants. How many guys have you guys seen this? At the restaurant and their friend is like, why is she being so rude and ignoring me? She's like texting and on the phone. And I was in the theater once and somebody was like, Tyra, are you gonna put your phone down? Somebody I didn't know because, you know, the play's about to start. I'm like, I oh, know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, so that's just something that we do all the time. We can't put our cell phones away. But it turns out that these same devices that we know and love can be used against us. Now, before the show, my producers asked these three audience members for their cell numbers, these three lovely ladies right here, but we didn't tell them why. And I'm going to show you why we asked for your cell phones. I have a photo on this phone that was taken earlier today. And right now, I'm going to hit send right now and send the photo to these three women and let me know the moment that you've gotten it. So let me know when you feel your buzz. Yep. Got it. You got it? Got it. Got it. Uh-oh, so <laughs> fast. Hello. That happened pretty quickly. We know when you send a text, isn't it crazy how somebody will even respond so fast almost as soon as you hit send with a text is insane. Okay, now I'm going to share that image with the rest of you. Take a look at the monitors around the studio. Okay? Two girls having fun, kissing in line. Okay. So now I'm going to log on to the Tyra Show website. My producer's on the back, and they've logged on, and they've already put this photo on the internet. It's on the internet right now. <laughs> okay, does anybody recognize themselves in these pictures? All righty, ladies. You come on over to you. Uh-oh. You were like, I'm coming to the Tyra Show today. I got all dressed up and didn't know it was going to be on TV. Spotlight it. What's your name? Blair. Blair and? Taryn. Blair and Taryn. All right. So when you were asked to do these pictures or just have fun, what made you go that far? We really thought we were going to be in a music video. So they're like, it's going to be a hot R&B star. You know, they wouldn't tell us who. So we're thinking all these people in our mind, you know. Who were you thinking? I was hoping Tank, someone. Okay. Know. And Omarion what made you? Omar, yeah. And Chris Brown, anybody. Usually, like, I don't know, I would do anything to, like, be in a video. So I was just like, whatever. Like, whatever he asked us to do, I was just doing it. I didn't even think of, like, it ever being on the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, now me seeing it, I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, I trusted him, you know? I didn't think that yeah. he was, you know, a fake. There's most bad it's people so out there when it comes to yeah. internet stuff. Oh, I did think we twice, like, okay. oh, my God, she's oh, serious? Whatever. But we were like, whatever. Okay. You know, we're at the Tyra show. Cool. <laughs> okay. Well, what you guys don't know is those guys that were asking you to be the music video girls and all that were just producers from my talk show. Just, you know, twisting and trying to get you guys to do stuff, mm -hmm. you know? And the good thing is those pictures are being taken off the Internet right now. Oh, thank God. <gasps> okay. okay? But that's not how it works in real life. Mm -hmm. You know, in real life, those pictures would be up there forever, and there'd be little that you can do, actually, probably absolutely nothing mm -hmm. that you can do to remove them. So we learned a lesson? Yes, yes Everybody learn a lesson? Yes, All right. We'll be right back. Up next, a video camera captured what was under her skirt. But this victim fought back her high-tech harasser. I, I ran out the doors, me and my mom ran out screaming, and I catch up with the man. I'm like, sir, is this a camera? Every time I look at his face, I think of him there mm -hmm. just violating me. All right, so as much as technology is a blessing, it can be a curse, too. Take a look at the monitors right now. The crime you're witnessing is called upskirting. And my next guest, Karen, knows just how invasive this crime is. Ladies, beware. Karen was at the zoo not long ago, enjoying a day out with her mom. I was standing next to the reptile cage, and I noticed this guy standing super close to me. And I thought it was kind of weird that he wasn't even looking at the reptiles. And for some reason, it just did not feel right. Fortunately for Karen, her gut was right on. And I saw that he was holding in his hand a camera strap with his camera lowered all the way down to the ground and his camera was in it, pointed up my skirt. And that's when I told my mom, I think he just filmed me. I think he just filmed me. Oh my gosh. Okay, Karen, I gotta ask you a question. I wonder if everybody else is thinking it too. Did you have on panties? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I Thank had goodness. On, <laughs> I had on okay. granny panties, practically. They were covering everything. I usually don't wear skirts, so that day, me and my sister were doing the bend-over test. Have you What's ever heard that? of that? No. I'll show you right now. It's okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. What you do is when you do the bend-over test is you do this, 
and you have like a sibling or a boyfriend or something behind you, and if you can see your panties, then you probably shouldn't be wearing the skirt. Oh my gosh, and everybody should do that. Yes. A lot of celebrity girls should do that. They walk out and like, ooh, nasty. Okay, you guys here, all you little cute girls, I'm not gonna say your names, the ones that hang out in LA and the paparazzi follow you all the time. Do the bend over test, girl. We don't wanna see your booty. We don't wanna see it. Okay, so you saw him, he had the camera, and what happened? What did you do? Um, when he had the camera, I looked down, and I looked back towards the reptile cage, and I did a double take. And I'm like, wait a second, I have a skirt on. There's a camera down there. I'm not stupid. And that's pretty much like when the adrenaline kicked in. What happened? What'd you do? <laughs> adrenaline, woo. Yeah, I, I ran out the doors. Me and my mom ran out screaming, and I cashed up to the man. I'm like, sir, is this a camera? Sir, is this a camera? And he was pretty much ignoring me. Yeah. And at that time, he actually ended up turning around to me and saying, oh, I'm sorry, it was an accident, or I couldn't carry my camera up here because my shoulder was hurting. So I'm like, no, you're a, you're a liar. I know I'm not a stupid woman. Yeah. I, I've seen this before, you know, from TV shows too. Yeah. And that's why I had a smoothie in my hand, and I ended up throwing it on his back, which completely drenched him, and I started Wait, beating on his back. Wait, threw the smoothie on him? Yes. Oh my gosh. I, it was complete adrenaline. I was... What flavor was the smoothie? Strawberry. <laughs> strawberry. Yes. I love it. So the little strawberry seeds were like oh, yeah. stuck he on was, him too. He was completely <laughs> soaked. I, you know, I back, love that. All the way down. And I started beating on him. But I'm like 5'3", 5'4", 125 yeah. pounds. He was at least six foot, um, probably 250 pounds, 49 years old. He, I doubt he even felt it, but he was like three, you know, three times my size, and yeah. I, was, I was not gonna let him get away. I was did gonna... he start to run? What did he do? No, he just walked the entire time. We walked about two blocks chasing after him. He was trying to act like he, I wasn't even there. Yeah. But I was just trying to do anything I could to stop him. And did the police show up? Yes, um, me, my mother, and a passive by a father who actually was helping us, cornered him between security guards, and that's when the police ended up showing up. And I think it was about seven police officers actually there. And wherever you walked, my sister could find me because everyone was stopped and staring and talking. Yeah. So it was, well, it was I a love big that scene. you threw the smoothie because <laughs> even if he tried to get away, the police can just be like the man with strawberry smoothie all over. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you marked him. I know we have a mugshot of this creepy man. Uh, let's check him out. What, what do you feel when you look at him? <sighs> um, I'm kind of like shaking right now. Yeah. Uh, he's haunting, very haunting, because every time I look at his face, I think of him there mm -hmm. just violating me, um, but then anger. Mm -hmm. um, and you have I'm, on a skirt today. Yes. So it didn't make you stop wearing skirts? No. I'm, I'm a strong person. I'm a fighter. I beat him up. I did anything yeah. I could to stop him. And, you know, he's, he's, he has a warrant out for his arrest right now. There's, you know, he's one day to a uh, year in jail with a thousand dollar fine, but um, there's a warrant out for his arrest. He never showed up. But either way, what he did to me that day, I'm still yeah. a woman. I'm not sitting off a wrong signal by wearing a skirt. I can wear a skirt and not be considered a bad person. Yes, I'm a strong can. woman. Yes, and you look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I want to go to Robert, our security expert, again. What, what do you have to say about this? Was it too aggressive for her to do the smoothie? Was it, what well, do you think? Well, first of all, uh, I think you're fantastic. You are a shining example of, of what an empowered woman is. Yes. And I, I think everybody... Uh, yeah. the, key, the key to what you did was you were aware of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. An attacker's tool of trade, and I, and I call this, this pervert an attacker, because that's what he did. He, he attacked your personal comfort zone. An attacker's tool of trade is the element of surprise. And you didn't allow that. You were paying attention to the area around your body. While he may have gotten close to you, you still sensed, you paid attention to your intuition. Mm -hmm. You were aware of the surroundings of your body, and so you were able to spot what he did, and you were able to thwart him. You, you didn't let him follow through with it. You, you didn't just sit back as a victim. You mm -hmm. took control of that situation. Which is fantastic. Yeah. And you know, making the noise and getting people to see, you hear that all the time, no, stop, but you actually did it. And to hear the story is amazing. Right now, do you have any fear of certain men or cameras or? Right after the incident, I saw another man with the camera as I was walking out the zoo. And I was, my heart started pounding and pounding, mm -hmm. but I'm like, no, it's okay. You know, I can't live my life in fear. Yeah. You know, I, that's why I said I'm a fighter, and, I keep going. And I'm, I'm so happy that you, got this man arrested mm -hmm. because when they opened up his video camera, he had been upskirting women all day. There were dozens of skirts that he was upskirting, mm -hmm. but he's on the loose right now, so hopefully, mm -hmm. especially with us showing his damn picture, we'll find him. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back.